Yeah, Kyle been my homie, man. You know yeah. what the fuck going on. All right, Punch OG, what's good with you, bro? Man, what's up, man? What up, world, man? It's your boy Punch OG, man. Stay to the lake, Chicago, baby. A multi-talented ass nigga, man. Man, thank you, man, so much, man. Comedy, jewelry. You doing your shit right now. So where are you from and how was it growing up? Man, I'm from the southeast side of Chicago, man. Sandy Field King Drive, Gotti Grill, man. Living okay. Legend over there, man. Okay. How was it growing up? I mean, it, it wasn't all good, but it wasn't all bad neither, man. Okay. You know? Okay. So what age did you move to Las Vegas? I was like 29 years old, like almost 30. Okay. Yeah. That's decent. That's decent. Okay. So now you do comedy. Yeah, I do comedy. Okay, what started you to doing comedy and taking it serious? Man, I I was working at Shine John, and I was working with a lot of celebrities, and a lot of people thought I was funny. So they was like, man, you need to go on stage, man. Comedy is your calling. So I just was like, you know what? I did some research for a year, then I went on stage and did open mics for a year, then after a year of open mics, I just started doing big shows, national shows. Okay, so... You're doing these shows, at what point do you realize, okay, damn, I could really eat off this? Uh, when I won the, uh, not won, but I was in the uh, National Kenan Thompson show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, came in second place. Okay. What was it like uh, meeting Kenan Thompson? Uh, he, Kenan Thompson said he played a lot of characters. Okay. But he said, out of anybody that could play him, that would be me. And I'll never forget that. Never forget that. Okay, okay. So now, let me ask you a question, bro. Now, we're gonna get into some shit. You know, you just got signed by Soldier Boy, man. Shout What's out Soldier Boy. S.O.D. Shout out Soldier Draco. He's the first to sign a comedian. How do you feel about that shit? Man, I just feel like I just made history. You know, he's not really like the first, but he one of the first. And I'm the first to his record label, so. So people know what it is. Most definitely, most definitely. So how do you feel about a lot of the shit that goes on, you know, with him in the internet, you know, with the, you know, I'm the first to do this and that? Because he is definitely the first to do a lot of shit, you know. Uh, first rapper to have a video game. Um, first artist to really go viral on the internet, do his thing. He's definitely a legend. So how does it feel like being in his presence? Uh, to be honest, Draco... Ain't probably nothing like you think he is. You right. know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm, you know, it's entertainment. You know? Most definitely, most definitely. Okay, so now I want to get into your jewelry making career, bro. You know, I've seen a lot of your work. Is man, it's dope as hell. Man, thank you so much, man. <laughs> I can't wait till I get in position. I'm gonna get a chain from you, bro. One day. I got you. <laughs> One day. Shit. So, how did you start? You know, designing jewelry. So like I told y'all, I worked with Sean John, so I was in the clothing industry, fashion, you know, consulting. So I dressed okay. everybody. So I was always a man that always was accessorized my outfits with jewelry, like a woman would have her little accessories on. I wanted to accessorize too. So I I always had jewelry my whole life. You look at my pictures as a baby to now, I always had a chain on. So, you know, after I got out the love uh, fashion, like just being in the fashion industry, it just got me into the jury. And then I met my, my colleague T, and T put me into the jury because he knew my background of fashion. Okay. And that was it. Okay. So now, at what point do you meet Soldier Boy while you're doing the jury and shit? Because I saw the video where he said, this is my jewelry store, you know, we're in Las Vegas. Well, I had met Soldier Boy. He was uh, he's at Jardine. Okay. And I, you know, I had hooked him up. Gave okay. him a free pair of diamond earrings. I met him. Oh, that's dope, bro. And then the relationship just grew from now. Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes you do gotta, you know, sell your work for free to get out there. You yeah. know, when yeah. I started, I was doing free videos for people. You know. Yeah. And he really rocked with me. He took a liking to me. Most and then definitely. His best friend took a liking to me. So it was just like. We were just like one, you know what I'm saying? It was like a brotherhood after that. Most definitely, most definitely. So now, what's the name of your jewelry store? Uh, Vegas Custom Jewelry. Okay. Vegas Custom Jewelry at the Fantastic Swap Aroma. Okay. Okay, so now, did you start it or you just. Nah, I started here working here. 
um, four years ago. Okay. And then, you know, like, as, as of two years, I've been a partner. Okay. And now I'm a partner. Okay, so now I've seen a lot of rappers around you, bro. Like a lot of different celebrities. T.K. Kirkland, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, you know, Soldier, of course. You know, a lot of different people. How did you, you know, plug yourself with a lot of these major people? You know, just doing uh, jewelry and shit like that. Man, I just chopped it up with him, and I just told him, you know, what I'm saying what it is, and I wasn't no groupie or nothing. I wasn't no fan. Right. And that's why it attracted all the people to me because I wasn't kissing their ass. I right. tell them like, man, you ain't shit. And they'd be like, damn, this the first motherfucker to tell you I ain't <laughs> shit. Like, and they they love that shit. Yeah, most definitely, Shaquille most definitely. Shaquille O'Neal, another one like Sha Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaq. Yeah, supporting okay. me. And he supported me and TK. Like, he one of the greatest comedians in the world. And that's like my mentor now too. Now, and that was a lot of love too. TK, shout out to him. Most definitely, most definitely. Okay, so now, who are some of your comedy role models, man? Uh, pretty much anybody from Chicago. If okay. you from Chicago, you influence me like you. But like really like Robin Harris. Okay. Robin Harris, Bernie Mac. You know what I'm saying? Danny oh, yeah. Williams, Spanky Hayes. You know, those those are my people. That's Most why, definitely. Uh, Martin Lawrence. Oh yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Martin definitely. Lawrence. I can't lie, Martin Lawrence. Can we see you in the movie soon? Oh yeah, we got a few movies, man, coming up, man. A lot of. Oh yeah. You know, we well, we gonna get ready for the majors. It's some low budget, but. We got some movies coming. Man, movies are movies, man. Yeah. It don't matter. Low budget, high budget. I think I think fans love you for being yourself, you know. Uh -huh. Your authenticity is the key to your own success. You man, know, you, you being you, you know. So definitely. Okay. So now what do you hope to achieve doing comedy, bro? Like what can we expect come going into the new year? Uh, like you said, the movies. You know, a lot of movies. Uh, some reality TV shows. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we a couple of reality TV shows. That's, okay. That's going to be major, too. And, uh, I don't know, uh, the comedy special. We're going to do the comedy special, You Wasn't There. We're going to do that in February. Okay, you definitely. Know, it definitely. wasn't there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now, let's talk about, you know, comedy, you know, and let's talk about movies. So, you got Kevin Hart ready to pay you a million for a movie. And then you got Martin Lawrence ready to pay you to go on tour. Which one are you doing? I'm Martin Lawrence all day. Okay. Martin Lawrence is my, my favorite. Two legends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I want to ask you, what's one of your favorite pieces that you ever made? You know, whether it be for you, for the store, or for one of your favorite entertainers? Uh, the Soldier Boy piece. Okay. Yeah. And that was that was an accomplishment, me being a black jeweler to create that chain. You know, that was one of my biggest accomplishments. Okay. You know, before the comedy, anything, it wow. was that chain. Okay. Now, how did that come about? Did he already, like, have in mind what he wanted you to do, or you nah, guys just came he up told with it? he told me to be creative and make the Soldier Boy piece. And I'm just like, okay, then me and my colleague, we came and put our heads together, and we made that piece. The front and everything, the wow. gun, the enamel, everything. We chose that whole style. Okay, how long did it take? The process take? It took like three months. Okay, three months. Okay, so now, how did a lot of people react when they found out? You know, you designed that piece. You know, did you get like a lot of love from your peers? And how did people? You know. Uh, you know, everybody end up being my friend all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everyone, a lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages, a lot of, you know, emails, everybody, you know. Yeah. Ex-girlfriends. Oh. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> they side chicks now. Shit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so now what was Soldier's reaction when he saw the chain, like, the complete project? Oh, uh, he went crazy. He went crazy, like... He went crazy. Most definitely. And you know, not a lot of people are into the jewelry design. You know, we see people like Johnny Dang. You know, we see Icebox. And, you know, to me personally, this place is like another Icebox to me. You know, I would definitely come here before anywhere. Now that I just know you personally, you know, and I just feel like, okay, you know, this is somebody I can definitely, you know, support, you know. And that was, that was the goal. Mm -hmm. That was the plan. 
you know, to be as big as Icebox and be right. as big as Waffy and be as big as Jacob. Right. You want to be up there to the elite. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is just the beginning of the new beginning. So we, we still start 2022. Be ready. Right. And I want to tell you, I fuck with the black jewelry, how you got the uh, SOG chain right now. Um, a lot of people... I think black jewelry was a thing like a couple years back, and I'm happy to see people bringing it back. You know, I definitely fuck with it. You know, because a lot of people got the black is for protection. Mm -hmm. You know, this black onyx. You know, all stones are natural stones. The diamond is a natural stone. Right. And, you know, people just hit diamond. You know, it's like Gucci. These mm -hmm. are other stones that you can wear. You okay. Be afraid to wear other stuff. Okay. So now, is this you guys' only location, or you're looking to? You I'm know, a couple more grounds. 2022. Okay. A couple of locations, actually. Okay. Where at? One across the street from right here. Okay. Yeah. It's right across the street, but then we looking for another one after Most definitely. Most definitely. Now, I know you can't really speak on too much, but is there anything in the works that we need to know about, like for any future celebrities, any jewelry coming soon? Uh, New TK Kirkland piece oh, coming wow. soon. You got this bracelet and this chain. Okay. Custom made TK Kirkland style. Okay, okay. So now, basically, you know, how would somebody get in contact with you to design a piece if they were to? Uh, follow the, the store, Vegas Custom Jewelry. Okay. And you can follow my Instagram, The Real Puncho, M F G P O N C H O G, The Real Puncho. Most uh, definitely. All right.